not ready for that dramatic stuff. Well, maybe they're not on. Ah, uh, boss, that is Ned. The public's ready for anything that's worthwhile and original. And someday, I'm going to do Shakespeare, the fellow, or my name is... Ah, who is... Oh, come right on in, darling. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, come on in. Mr. Lester, yeah. I don't like to impose on your good nature, but would you mind running over that new bit with me? Well, no, of course not, honey. Hello, Miss Davy. Glad to see you, Miss Davis. You two go right ahead. I'm going out front. See you later, Ned. We need it. Now listen, doll. When we walk out to the middle of the stage, I'm going to say to you, you're a pretty funny young lady. You take the call. What do you say? No, you take the call, and I'll take the box. <laughs> <laughs> That'll get it. That'll get it. Ladies and gentlemen, now we have a guest with us tonight, a star of a decade ago. And you can believe me, she is marvelous as a singer of the blues. Ladies and gentlemen, she is the first of the Red Hot Mamas. I'd like to have you meet all over again, Mamie Smith. What do you say, huh?
you answer the phone. Okay. Yes. Oh, hello, Chief. Yeah, this is going away. What's that? He's in town? Okay, I'll tell him that right away. What's up? Then you would take down. You know what that means. Stick on your pins. I'll be right back. Someday when I get me a real show, you're gonna get a good part. You've been mighty nice to me, Mr. Man. You gave me my first real break in Harlem. Yeah, Dom. I've helped a lot of them in show business in my time. But somehow or another, they won't let me do the one thing in life that I want to do most. Well, someday you'll do that real show, Mr. Man. You just keep punching. Thanks, Dom. Good night. I will. Good night.
Listen, actor, you ain't seen nothing or heard nothing, see? Now blow. Get up on the desk. Make yourself comfortable, babe. <laughs> it's all yours, Daddy. Oh, I guess too late to worry over that now. Well, what do you guys want? Matt just knocked off Slim Hewitt. What? Yeah, Matt, I told them Anderson saw me turn the trip. Are you sure he saw who did it? He must have. Ruff is only two feet away. You're a Sap, Gilson. Right in the stage door where everybody can see you. Use this gun for. What are you doing backstage? Uh, I know you're trying to see what gals are. Oh, forget it, will you? What is that actor guy's for? We've got to bump him off, don't we? Please don't let him do it, Ruff. Shut up, doll. We've got to do something, Ruff. Oh, we won't wait any longer. Let's knock him off. Don't get too ambitious, Ganaway. Okay. We'll do something about this, all right. But there'll be no more killing, and that's final. Thanks, Ruff. Listen, Muggs, here's what we're gonna do. Spanish, you and Galloway get to that actor guy and tell him I say... Glad to see you, Mr. Lynn. Why, what's wrong? You look like you've seen a ghost. The doctor's been here and he says he's sent his work. Thanks, Acme. You can go home now, honey. I'll take care of you. Well, how is my little sweetheart tonight? How do you feel? <coughs> Wait a minute. I'll get you something for that cough, honey. Here we are. Here's just what you need. Now you take one of these and you're going to be all right. How do you feel, honey? What's wrong, Sam? Well, wrong? Well, well, there's nothing wrong, honey. What makes you think something's wrong? I know. You're worried about me. Oh, no, I'm not. I reckon I won't be with you much longer, honey. Oh, Emma, don't talk that way. You're going to be all right, honey. You're going to be all right. But it's you I'm worried about. Why, Lem? Your hand's shaking like a leaf. What's the matter, dear? Well, I wonder who that could be at this hour. You right back there? You, Lem Anderson? Yes. What can I do for you? Not what you can do for us, it's what you can do for yourself. You ain't seen nothing tonight. You ain't talking, and you're leaving town. Leaving town? Who says this? Is any of them? No, you make you dig a hole in the river. Well, what do you mean? You honey? heard me? Breathe. Come on, let's slip in more action. We're not here to argue. We're here to tell you. Honey, but why should I leave you town? You're sick. Don't start anything. Yeah, please. you'll be sicker than that if you don't get out of town. Oh. I don't. Emma. Emma. You'll never get me to leave home. I'll see you hanging for you. No, you don't want any more death in your family, do you? You got a nephew in Harlem, you crazy about. You wouldn't want anything to happen to him, would you? You know? wouldn't be at home, my nephew. No, well, the same thing will happen to him if you don't get out of town. Get out of town. I didn't told you. Get out. Beat it. Notorious gangster murdered. No trace of killer. Solid. Say, you 
Get out of town. What do you mean, get out of town? Lost orders. Get out of town. Well. You can't do this to me. Forget all about that. I just got to leave town. That's the way it's got to be, Ned. I know how you feel, huh? When Emma and everything. Say, Elk, why don't you go away? I'm sure it'll do you good. Go away, will you? That's right, Ned. Sure. Maybe a trip out of town. Right now would be good. Yes. For my help. But where will you go? Where will I go? Why, back down south where I came from, of course. Sure. Swanee River, here I come. <laughs> Is your gun with you? Yeah. Lonely a minute, will you please? Thank you, Mr. Police. Thank you. Stop kicking that left leg. <laughs> that shot got him. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Police. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, let me get these things on good, Judge. You know, I don't want to get away. 
They want good. Ah, <laughs> uh, hey, huh? I forgot to tell you. After two weeks, they're going to hang me. What? Now, get out! Get me out of these things here! Get well, me well, out of here! Well, 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 well. <laughs> Hey, you. What do you mean going out on my stage like that? What's the matter now? Why, you're drunk again. That's what's the matter. And you spoil the whole performance, so you're through. I get my laughs, don't I? Oh, scratch it. Just because she was a big shot up north. Why, well, you can't come down here and ruin my show. And you're setting a bad example for the whole troop. So get your things and breathe, brother. What do you mean? I mean, catch some air. Well, do, uh, don't I get a two-week notice? A uh, notice. Yeah, notice. You ain't got no contract, have you? You know I ain't got no contract. Well, you ain't working here no more, so get your things and get out of here. Wait, wait. wait. Now, wait a minute, Jordan. Just a minute. Hey, hey, listen. I ain't been right since I lost my wife. I had... Oh, nuts on your wife. Uh, it's you I'm talking about, wait, isn't it? Wait a minute, wait a minute. That's wrong, that's wrong. Now, don't talk about my wife like that. A nuts on your wife, and you're the one that's missing. I'm asking you to take your hands don't. off of me, you dirty bastard. Told you not to talk. Told you not to talk about my wife like that, buddy. Well, let's finish you down here. Why, I'm just thrown out of the socket. You'll never get another job. <laughs> Old man, when you find out I'm definitely gone. 
listen, honey. I didn't miss my first wife. The one that died in a wreck. Again? I didn't miss the investigator in Nebraska. There's up my case. I didn't miss the WPA. Where well, yeah, your eyes on that too. That's great. So I'm not the devil you ever figured. Said I'm quite a million. Look, Rap. Dad's lead on that to the piano. Just go over there and ask him about that job, yeah? Yeah, all right. Sure is. Oh, that beat. What are you going to say, LeBron? Hey, yeah. I hear that you done dined up at that show that's wine up no. Yeah, yeah. I can't love dining with you, see. We get through here at the theater tonight. Well, sure. Go see the man. Oh, oh yeah? Yeah, but wait a minute. If he's gonna talk to the man about a job, I'm gonna do the talking. Cause he's gonna come up here using all them high pollutant words, and we ain't gonna never get no job. Why, boy, I am really surprised at your vocabulary. Now, you see that? There's a word that ain't never been in the dictionary. <laughs> I'm so, so sorry that my language is a bit too high for the common element. Perhaps I should drop a dominion law where he could grasp my meaning. Now, after those few remarks have subsided, I shall proceed further into the proceedings. <laughs> you don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm going to say it again. Now, after those few remarks have subsided, I shall proceed further into the pro. Uh-huh. I'm glad it choked you. Well, I said it the first time. Well, you didn't say it right well, that time. Right. Oh, go ahead. Well, I said it here. Oh, shut oh, up. Hey, big boy. Ain't you gonna buy nothing? Hey. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Go ahead, Jimmy. Come on and get oh, up out of there. Hey, Ain't that the man Sure. What's he doing here? What's the matter with him, Rocky? I come in here and run out of dough. Why, we know him. He was one of the biggest men in show business once. So what? That ain't paying for my grog. How much do you owe you? Oh, yes, neither for that. Give him two bits, Laura. I'll see what I can do for them. I'll pay you later. Come on, then, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. And you're high as a Georgia pine. Don't you know who we are? Oh, uh, hello, please. Oh. What are you doing in this joke joint? I uh, just quit Jordan's show. Yeah, we heard about it. Yeah, Jordan put up an awful squawk. I guess you're through in the South. I have this morning. Do you know what... Oh. But here. Yes, you had to put a bad shape. Uh, thanks, man. Oh, that's all right. You were put a swell to me and my first old lady when we were trooping in the South together. I certainly wish you would stop bringing your first old lady into my life. We quit that show that you was in with us, and we're now working our way back to New York. You want to join us? You want a man to play on Katon? You can play him, can't you? I've been playing on Katon all my life. I don't want to play on Katon. Shakespeare. That's what I'm going to play. Shakespeare. Tell me, Walker. I'm going to play Shakespeare. That's what I'm going to play. Shakespeare. Better stick to the thing you know best and leave the other fellow racket alone. Well, you know what a hard head makes. Put some meat on there and it'll muffle it. All right. Muffle it. Well, right. oh. Look out for my feet, will you? Oh, man, what's the matter with you? You know one thing, Gosler? This ain't right. What ain't right? Slipping out on Miss Mamie like this. We owe that woman four weeks rent, don't we? Yeah, but you can't get blood out of a turnip. But you can put old turnip in jail. Look, go ahead and move it. Watch out for my feet, too, man. Man, I've been moving all the time. My feet, watch out for them feet. Get your feet out of the way. Let me see that thing. Let me see that thing. Let me see Uh, we ain't going nowhere. We just coming in. Yeah. Show your line. Yes, ma'am. Uh, no. 
Christmas here. Yeah. I used to be a show woman myself. Mm -hmm. I know what you're up against. Now you all go right back upstairs to your room and don't be late for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> now, just, go ahead. Yeah, yes, sir. Now, wait, 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 you, you, you come on and go oh, quick. Now. You, know. you ain't going to tell them about the oh, number. Just go right on upstairs. We'll be back for dinner. Don't worry about all that. Right. We'll be back for dinner. You'll pay me someday. I hope. Instead of the ham what am, this is the ham what inch. Hello, Miss Wayming. Oh, hello, Miss Avery. How do you feel, all right? Fine. That's good. Did you get my message? Oh, yes, I did. Yes. I managed to talk to those people. Oh, yes? Well, they're right inside. Come right oh, on with me. Thank you. I'm Miss Mamie. Folks, this is Mr. Avery, Lamb's nephew. I told him you had something to tell him. Glad to know you. How are you, folks? Well, go right ahead. Don't mind me. <laughs> we know your Uncle Lim. Oh, yeah? He's in a pretty bad fix down south. He sure needs help. Well, what's the trouble? Well, we told him when we got to New York, we were going to stop here with Miss Mamie. And he said, be sure and see the Jews all right. Oh, that's nothing. He always did worry about me. But he sure needs help something awful. We did what we could for him. I know where you can find him. If we can get him back up here, maybe he'd get started again. I got an idea, Ned. Brother Moe's church wants to do a high-class play. That's right. Perhaps you'd let him put on a fellow. That would be nice. I'll go see Brother Moe's tonight. That's a great idea, Miss Mamie. And it would bring Uncle Lem back, too. I sure would like to see him again. I'll see you later. Somebody that can do you a lot of good in show business. Oh, yeah. I'm closer to the boss than 99 S 100. Well, I'll put you on Broadway next week. Oh, my. Yeah, but suppose you let us see what the costume look like. Certainly. Yeah. I mean, this is going to be a killer here. Ha. Yes, sir. You working now and don't know it. Uh, Sid, what, what do you dance, honey? Get a bug. Be out of the rhythm there, folks. You Please. bet I will. Yeah. <laughs> That actor guy? Ain't nobody else. So what is he doing in Harlem? Belching to the law, maybe. Well, well, Miss Bluefoot, I'm mighty glad to see you again. Well, Mr. Anderson, how are you? Well, I'm quite well for an old timer. <laughs> Tell me, what's all the news here in Harlem? Oh, nothing. Everything is quiet. Everything quiet, eh? Well, that's what you see, all right. Well, where have you been? I've been south, Miss Bluefoot. For your health? Yes, I guess it was for my health. I think I'll sap him. Wait a minute. You tail him. I'll get rough. Jam up. 
But do you know one thing? It's really a pleasure to get back here in Harlem again. I love it. Oh, it's a pleasure having you back. I'm glad to be here. I'll take this paper. I thank you. Give my regards to your husband. I'll do that. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> I think it's great that Uncle Lim's coming back to your old fellow. And I'm sure it'll be a great success. And my church people agree that this production of Othello will make for better entertainment in the community. And just think of it. It will reach the man who never goes to church. Exactly, Desdemona. Won't Lamb be happy acting in Othello and at the same time having the cause? All of my people are enthusiastic. And the spiritual uplift will be tremendous. Gee, I wish they'd come. I'm so anxious to meet Ned's uncle. Are you sure it's him they saw? Dead sure. Janaway's trailing him now. Well, you get word of Gilson to show up my office as soon as he can. Now listen, boss. You better watch Gilson. He never got over the fact that you snatched all Davis from him. Don't you worry about Gilson. I'll take care of him. Here you are, son. Thank Come you, on, Jeff. If Brother Anderson will faithfully work with us, this play will be to the everlasting credit of Harlan. It'll be the dream of my life if he'll let me act with him. Oh, you'll act with him, all right. Hello, folks. Is Lim here yet? No, he hasn't come yet. I hope he heard us. I'm ran to go. Hello. Oh, what is that? Oh, now sit down, brother. Y'all make yourself comfortable. Listen, you know, we're all going to have a great show when them come. Come on, up. They're all waiting. <laughs> I wonder what's keeping you. Oh, here comes Lamb now. Oh, oh hello, Lamb. Oh, 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 you haven't changed a bit. No, God, Miss Mamie, you look younger than ever. You think so? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh listen, Lamb, uh -huh. did you have a fine trip? Oh, Miss Mamie, I had a wonderful trip. We laid over in Washington for about a half an hour, but I was very impatient because I was in a hurry to get here to some of your good biscuits. I knew they'd draw you. Lamb, Lamb, Lamb. This is my surprise. Yes. My fiance, Miss Desdemona Jones, is going to play opposite you. Hello, Uncle Lamb. Desdemona. Well, boy, that's the name of one of the leading Shakespearean characters. That's right. Desdemona. Oh, you remind me so much of my Emma when we were married. Thank you, sir. You've made a fine choice, my boy, and I'm sure you're both going to be very happy. Thanks, Uncle Lamb. Yes, sir. Lem, yeah. I want to introduce you to Brother Bones. Glad to know you, Brother Bones. Glad to meet you, sir, but the name is Moan. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Come, let's sit down mistake. and have something to eat. Oh, right. Now, I want you all to help you. I'm glad to go eat now. Yes, indeed. Look at him. I'll wait and hold up a second. Well, this is going to be good. Oh, this is going to be good. Imagine me again. Gee, he's lucky. Huh? <laughs> Must have a rabbit for it. <laughs> Hiya, boys. Hi. Now listen, you dudes, I told you no more killing. My picture's in the paper again. The time anybody even runs too fast in Harlem, the cops come to me. Well, suppose that ham act is cool. Well, you gotta figure out a way to get rid of him easy. Oh, John? We could get the nephew. I'll find out where he lives. Maybe a hint to him might do some good, huh? Yeah, we can convince him that we don't want his uncle around here. All right, but take it easy. Okay, Chief. See you later. Audition and everything? Why, oh, sure. That's a good idea. Why not? Well, what are you waiting on? There's a plenty of talent right here. Oh, and let's get started then. Let Miss Mamie cut us off, huh? Oh, come on, Come on, now. Come on, now. Come on, now. Come on, Come on, now. 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 Come on, I can't sleep at night I can't eat a bite Cause the man I love He don't treat me right He 
makes me feel so blue. I don't know what to do. Sometimes I sat inside and then began to cry. He went away and never even said goodbye. There's a change in the ocean. Change in the deep blue sea, my baby. I'll tell the world there ain't no change in me. My love for that man will always be. Now I got the Harlem blue. My man went away. I ain't got no time to do. Yes, I must find him today. He makes me feel so blue. I'll do things I wouldn't do. I'll do like the Chinaman Bay calling hop gonna stand on the corner gonna blow my top since my love has been refused now I got the Harlem blues Harlem Harlem now she's got the Harlem blues yeah she's got then the man is gone away, gone away. She ain't got no time to lose. That dirty man has done her wrong. Oh, boom, boom, boom. He left her feeling blue. Doing things that she wouldn't do. She's going down to the river, take a rope and a rod. Because her love has been refused Now she's got the Harlem blues Her brain is reeling Now she's got the Harlem blues Her crazy feeling Now she's got the Harlem blues Ah, that was fine. Thank you, boys. That was great, all right. Well, I'm glad you liked it. Who liked it? I was a little out of practice, right. but the boys helped me out. Oh, you don't make like old time to put out of practice. Let me tell you something. Well, well folks, I guess I must be going now. My deacons are anxious to hear of this meeting. Well, uh, good night, Brother Moans. And you'll be ready to start your rehearsals immediately? Immediately? Why, Brother Moans, I've been waiting for this opportunity longer than you have. Well, good night, <laughs> children. Good, good night, night, Brother Moans. Thank you very much. All right, All right, 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 brother. Brother. Anyone think this meeting? Brother Moans, you're a dear. I'm happy about this myself, my child. Good night, Good night. children. Good, Good night. night, Brother Moan. Yep. Well, we must be off, too. I promise to get there tomorrow home early. Well, good night, children. Good night. See you in the morning. Good night, Good night, Good night, Good night. Good night. Good night. And, uh, Miss Mamie. Yes? Take care of Uncle Lem now. Don't worry about that. I'm not going to let him out of my sight. I know that. <laughs> Miss Mamie, you're a knockout, I swear. Oh. Just like you always did. Hello, Chick. What's this joker trying to do? Give you a good time? Yeah, maybe he needs some help. That'll be enough out of you. That's it. Well, you saw him all for a dame with a name like that. Why, you... <coughs> Uh, you'll be all right, my boy. You know, Ned, you were pretty lucky. Uh, if this came down a half an inch more, we'd have had trouble with your sight. I tell you what you do, Ned. Uh, drop into my office and uh, say a day or two. I want to check and see that that heals first. Okay. Yeah. I want to bid you people good night. Good night, Good night, Good night, good night. Thanks very much. Good night. Thank you for calling. I'm feeling 
head. Look at me. Well, I wouldn't worry so much about it. Dr. Reverend said it wasn't serious. No, it was dreadful. Why, he might have been killed. And you're sure you don't know who did it, Ned? No, I don't know. Oh, they said something about making you remember, Uncle Lim. Who, Lou? They ain't got no respect for nobody. Come, Desdemona. I'll take you home. Are you sure you'll be all right, dear? Oh, he'll be all right, child. Absolutely. Don't worry. Honey. All right, then. I'll be around in the morning, yes? Yeah? Okay, sweetie. Bye. Bye-bye, Take care of yourself, Ned. Nice. Oh, you'll be all right. Don't worry about me. I'll be all right. Ned? Yes, Uncle There's something I've got to tell you. Yeah? Do you remember that Slim Jewett killing some time ago? Slim Jewett? Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, oh, yes, a gangster who was killed in front of the stage office. Well, Ned, I saw that murder. You did? Yeah. But why didn't you notify the police? Oh, that's just it. I couldn't. What do you mean you couldn't, Doc? Well, after the killing, I went home. Emma, she was terribly sick. Two men came to the house and told me if I didn't get out of town, you'd get the same as Slim Jewett. Oh, this doesn't make sense. Oh, the whole thing don't make sense. But what did they do to me? Look what they did to you tonight, Ned. You mean... That's it. You see, Ned, I didn't want to spoil your career, so I thought I'd better go away again. If I had only known... I made a mess of it, and I, I think I'd better go away again, Ned. Oh, no, you don't. You'll not sacrifice yourself for me again. But what else is there to do? You're staying right here and concentrating on Othello. We'll handle it somehow. Solid boy. Straighten out now with my number here. Let me see now. 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 Let me see now.
What do you say, Spanish? Okay, Chief. Sit down. Get yourself a drink. Trade ride. Make it double. Well, what's a jive now? That act is still hanging on. Yeah, he's been rehearsing for a week with the church folks and a half rod family. Well, I have my way. I put him in church in a bark. Did you say church people? Yeah, that joke has got all the churches in Holland behind him. There's only one way to be safe, Chief. Rub him out. Fight down. Bad enough to have the cops down on us. If we get these church people down on us, we'd all have to blow up town. Well, what are we going to do about him then? Well, what do you say we get him in church? What do you say we get him in wrong? Throw some women in this lab. Get him drunk. These churches saw on him, he, he's gone gobble. He's a good wise old Oscar. He wouldn't fall for it. Yeah, he's not smart enough to duck the woman I'm going to throw at him. There she is. Hey, Pete. Tell Dal Davis for I want her to come over here to the table. Okay, Ralph. Tell him what Dal Davis is this. That's a chump. Dal's in my stable now. You get it? It's fair, Ralph. You and me supposed to be pals. She ought to know who she wants by now, and I'm the head man. Hello, fellas. What do you want, Ralph? What do you have to drink, baby? Scotch and soda. Hey, waiter. Get Miss Davis a scotch and soda. Listen, babe, I got a little job for you. Yeah, with a rough idea, not mine. <laughs> I wouldn't expect you to have any ideas. Now, wait a minute. Dolls, what's the matter? Well, I don't know. Well, I'm going to have to take you to your first show. Give you three squares a day. So what? Cut it out, quit it. Well, I'm going to have to take you to the first show. Give you three squares a day. So what? Cut it out, quit. Well, I'm going to have to take you to the first show. Give you three squares a day. So what? Cut it out, quit. Well, I'm going to have to take you to the first show. Give you three squares a day. So what? Cut it out, quit. Well, I'm going to have to take you to the first show. Give you three squares a day. So what? Cut it out, quit. Well, I'm going to have to Hey, I wonder if he'd give me a job. You're gonna work for him, baby. Work for him? Yeah. What's on your mind? Get him excited about you. Get him drunk. Anything. We'll do the rest. Why couldn't you do it, Ralph? He thinks I'm a good kid. Look, if these church people get sore against him, he'll have to leave town, and that'll be for his own good. Well, I'll go and tell him to be. Sit there. down. You'll do it my way. Now, here's what happened. You invite him to your apartment. You get him drunk. You get me? Oh, I couldn't do it, Ruff. You're asking too much. I saved his life once for you. And I'll do it again if you do as I say. Well, folks, thanks to uh, Brother Moans here, we've reached the stage of our first rehearsal. And as you all know, a fellow was a moor. He, he was a what? He was a moor, a moor. What kind of man is that? Well, you see, he was uh, a general in the Venetian state. Mr. Lamb? Huh? Is that in the United States? <laughs> he married uh, Desdemona, Brabantio's daughter. And later on, uh, his good friend Iago makes him uh, believe that his wife Desdemona is unfaithful. And in Act 5, Scene 3, I think that's called the handkerchief scene, a fellow in a jealous rage kills his wife. Ain't that a change? But uh, later on there, uh, when uh, he finds out that his wife is innocent, in a tremendous climax in the last act, Othello kills himself. Then what? And then Othello dies. That's the end of the play. Uh, oh, Desdemona, just a moment, please. Now, in the handkerchief scene, Desdemona, you'll be stage right on a couch, asleep. I'll come in and I'll do my lines. I walk toward you. Mr. Lamb, Mr. Lamb. What's the matter, honey? Please. Well, why not, Acme? Because Sam Dinkins is upstairs in the dressing room with a big bag of peanuts. Can you imagine that? Peanuts. Oh, oh Acme, honey, what's wrong with peanuts? Backstage, peanuts are bad luck. Why, the hardest lick I ever hit my first old lady was for bringing peanuts into the dressing room. Mm, peanuts. Look out, Relief. You've got me in your power again. Is Mr. Lamb Anderson here? Does he know you? Just say it's Dal Davis. I'll see. Miss Anderson, come on stay. Oh, all right, Joey. Oh, relax you all. I'll be back in a minute. Oh, hello, Mr. Lamb. Remember me? Do I remember Dal Davis? Why, sure I do. I... Oh, I'm afraid I'm not doing so good. Mm, well, you look like you're doing all right, honey. <laughs> well, you never can tell. <laughs> I suppose you wonder why I'm here, don't you, Mr. Lamb? Well, I heard that you were doing a play, 
And you did say, if you ever did one, that you would give me a part, remember? Oh, sure I did, doll. I guess we'd better be going, too. I think so. Excuse us, folks. Good night. Uh, good, good night, night Grandma. Good night. Good night, y'all. Say, come on, y'all. Let's get the rehearsal started. My Lord. My Lord. What ho! My Lord. Hey, Lem. Where do you want me to die? Upstage or down? Lem is too busy out there talking to that notorious Doll Davis. Say... You know anything about Shakespeare? Not a thing. Well, neither do the rest of my cast, so we all start from scratch. <laughs> <laughs> now, you sit right here, and I'll be right up in the middle, yeah? Hey, what's she calling the Lord's name so much for? Don't ask me. You know much about this here play as I do. Folks, I know you'll be glad to hear that I've just engaged another professional, Miss Dal Davis. She's a liquor head. Well, so was I. Sneezed until I got another chance. He's all right. No too much. Why, it's terrible bringing a cabaret girl in a church play. You're right. She's a bad character and she'll ruin our show. Oh, Lem Anderson must be losing his mind. Nix, nix, nix. Jay comes now. Well, that'll be all for today, folks. No more rehearsal. Same time tomorrow. Thanks. Thank you. Have some lovely weather, ain't you? Mr. Lamb, I don't think I'm going to be so popular around here. Well, now, don't you worry about that, child. Oh, don't worry about me. I'm going back to that liquor party where I just came from. Oh, I'm... come on, doll. Snap out of it, honey. Don't you worry about anything anybody says. You're going to be in this show, and you're going to be good. Oh, Mr. Lamb, why are you so good to me? Come on, kid. I'll walk you home. Yeah. There goes Lem with the doll now. You know what to do, Galloway. Yeah, I'm going to do something worthwhile here in Holland. But uh, what I wanted to say to you, doll, was that it's just a bit hot. Do you think you'll like it? Yeah, but I'm kind of afraid of rough. Oh, uh, rough's gone so off. we got to take this matter ourselves, huh? Why, you're not yourself. Do you mind if I see you upstairs? Well, I'd be glad if you would, please, Mr. Lamb. I'd be glad to. Come on, we don't need to take it easy. Listen, I'll put it to the getaway, though, you understand? If the frail gets in your way, blast her, too. Now get going. Okay. Well, doll, honey, you just lay down and take a little rest, and I'm sure that you're going to feel all right in the morning. I hope so, Mr. Lamb. I feel a little better already. Uh-huh. Goodbye. Oh, won't you come here just for a little while? Well, uh, just for a few minutes. Come on in, Mr. Lem, and make yourself at home. Well, uh, how do you feel, doll? Don't you think you ought to lie down for a minute? No, I feel much better. Let me take your coat. Oh, thanks, thanks. Just sit right in that big easy chair over there. You'll what? find all the theatrical papers right there. Uh-huh, the variety. You know, Mr. Lem, huh? I'll never be able to thank you for that part you gave me. Oh, that's all right, doll. You just made good. That's all I want. Won't you have a little drink? Uh-uh, doll. That's done enough damage to me already. Well, I'll have one. Uh oh you better lay off, too. Well, I guess you're right. Sure. <laughs> oh, Mr. Lem. Yeah? Do you feel like rehearsing that part with me again? Well, sure, I don't mind. Well, I'll tell you what you do. Just sit there, just a minute. And here's my scrapbook. Here's all the pictures while I make myself comfortable. Oh. You'll find it very amusing. Fine, fine. Say, doll, you've done some nice things according to this scrapbook. Thank you, Mr. Lamb. Doll, I'm certainly going to help your career. Get it, 
Don't make no bad move. What's the idea? Why don't you leave me alone? You got it coming, chum. I'm minding my own business. Haven't you done enough for me already? You killed my wife and you ran me out of town? We told you to stay out. Now we ain't got no more patience. Say your prayers, actor. Cut it out, Dandaway. You know what Rock said. No shooting, no killing. Be quiet, chick, or I'll kick your teeth down your throat. Ben. The heck with what Rock said. Ah. Oh. Get away quick, Mr. Lamb. They'll blame you. Jilton and Ruff. Watch out. Get a doctor. Oh. Okay. Thank you, Miss Mavis. Thank you. Uh, will you give me the potatoes, please? Boy, you don't think Dave me no potatoes up here. Well, what is that? They say, give me them potatoes. They don't eat the potato blessings up here like they do down home. No? No. They just say good bread, good meat. Thank the president and go ahead and eat them. <laughs> You're such uneducated person. Such colossal stupidity. Why, boy, you is absolutely illiterate. <laughs> You is absolutely illiterate. You gonna run into my razor yet? Now stop that now, stop that now. Yeah, all right? Yeah, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. shoot a girl that's gonna defend me. Well, they want me out of Harlem. By God, let them run me out. That's what they can do. What's the matter? Oh, 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 oh. Ladies and gentlemen, we sincerely hope that you've enjoyed our show up till now. And fine, fine, fine. And what do you think? And now, ladies and gentlemen, for a wee portion of a Broadway atmosphere. And who do you think is going to give it to you? None other than an inimitable singer of songs, Laura Lou. All right. Thank you. Love to me is a strange affair. It leads you here and it leads you there. Why should I wonder where it will all end? Why do I wonder if we can be friends? Oh, maybe I'm right. Maybe I'm wrong. Sometimes it seems that we will never get along. We thought mine, mine.
anything further I can do. But I can. I'll go to the hospital and I'll have a talk with that girl. Oh, 
fine and so good. And what they try to do to him. If you really want to help Mr. Lamb, you'll tell me what happened. Who are you? Yes, the friend of his. Just like you are. They try to frame him the mob. They try to run him out of town. They try to ruin him with the church people. Disgrace him. I took him to my apartment. He wasn't to blame. I, I, I just couldn't go through with it. He's always been so nice to me. And then what happened? I try to stop Ganaway from shooting. I try to save Mr. Lamb. Oh, do you think I'm going to die? No, child. You're not going to die. The doctor says you're going to be all right. Who tried to run him out of town? Rob Jackson and Matt Gilson, that's why. <laughs> Mr. Lamb saw Gilson shoot Jewett. They were afraid. <laughs> Honey, child, you don't know what this means to Lamb Anderson and to me. It ain't no need to cry, little girl, because a lot of things happen in show business. Yeah, you're going to cry about this. Our star's in jail and he ain't going to get out. So you might as well take off your costume. What? There's Uncle Lamb now. Where? Where? All right, Anderson. Go on with your show, but remember, I'll be here with to take you back with me. Wait. I'll go see. I understand. Glad to see you, Uncle Lamb. The folks are waiting. Could it go on? Sure. What are you waiting for? Get in the costume and makeup and everything. Hello, pal. Waiting for someone? Yes, I'm from headquarters. I'm waiting for Anderson. How'd you find this out? Jack Adams. He told me. He was big as a Ganaway before he left town. So that's it, huh? Ganaway shoots Dull, trying to get Anderson. There's only one guy in town could have given orders for that. Sure. Matt Gilson. Yeah, that's it. Matt Gilson, the lousy double-crossing rat. Just in case. Where are you going, boss? I'm going where I know I'll find Gilson. It is the cause, it is the cause, my soul. Yep, she must die or she'll betray more men. Peace. It's wonderful. <laughs> put out the light and then put out the light. Yeah, go ahead and put out the light so we can all go to sleep. <laughs> I cannot give it vital growth. Must need with us. Get away from there. <laughs> ah, she waits. Oh, fellow, won't you come to bed, my lord? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to himself tomorrow. Here he is, Francis. Heaven have mercy on you. As the Mona, with all my heart. Amen. Some bloody passion shake thy very fame. I hope it do not point to me. As the Mona, that handkerchief that I so loved and gave to thee, thou gavest Cassio. No, no, my life, my love, my Sweet soul, take heed, thou art on thy deathbed. Ah, my Lord, but not to die, not yet to die. Yes, yes, yelling Desdemona. To deny each article of oath. And I remove or choke the strong connection.
again that I grow with all. Thou art to die. No, no, she can die. No, no.
found me. Gail Spencer. You, you're a bad loser, Gilson. Folks, and the best news of all is this. I have an offer to go to Broadway with a fellow, a jazz band, and a choir. Oh, no! Oh, uh -huh. wow! Yes, indeed, a choir. Baby, now guess what we're 